Hey guys, Leonard Albert here. You can call me Leo. I'm going to do some real quick Facebook training. Uh, the first thing we're going to go over is what I call white space. And it's not really white, but it is a space. Uh, and what I mean by that is on Facebook, when you're doing your posts, you don't have any formatting uh, tools. You can't highlight anything. You can't change a font. You can't change the text type. You can't do anything to make anything stand out, basically. Uh, so here's, here's what we can do. What I like to do a lot of the times is have a main theme. Maybe it's a title, something catchy, whatever. And then there's going to be space here. And I might have a couple of lines of text. And then I'll have another space here and maybe a conclusion, something of that nature. Um, this space gives your eyes a chance to look at just one section at a time and it makes it stand out. So what I like to do quite often is, again, maybe a, a, a title, something. And then I'll have a couple of key points that are together like a paragraph. Maybe I want to have a line stand out. I want to make a, a, I want to declare something, make a declaration. So I'll have space here. And then maybe I'll have more information as a paragraph. Here, okay. And then on the bottom, I'm going to have my signature, uh, Leonard Albro, with my marketing link here. And this just makes it so that you can read it better, just like a paragraph in a book, okay? Something else that I see a lot of people doing, it drives me nuts, it might not bother everybody, but the point is, is you want the most people possible looking and reading your stuff. A lot of people have this really random, they'll have a carryover, a return, they'll get the end, end, end of space and they'll keep writing and then they'll have something like that, and then they'll have something like that, whatever. Um, it's all just all over the place. A lot of people get confused and they just bypass that. They won't read it. They're lazy. It happens. The other thing you don't want to do is you don't want to have total block all the way down where it's just a mat. It just looks like a big massive novel page. You don't want to do that either. Okay, you're going to lose a lot of attention that way. Better way to do it is to have a couple of lines nice and blocked off to show that it's a new paragraph. Maybe you'll have it shorter. It'll be lined up, nice box, nice and organized, but it'll look like a paragraph. By having it blocked with some space here, it's telling the reader this is a new set of ideas, just like a paragraph on a page. Okay. The other thing I want to talk about is what I call pruning. And there's three different ways to prune and this just makes it so that you're getting more engagement on your wall these are posts say you have a couple of posts here that are getting very little likes and comments maybe you have a big one here 50 maybe 30 okay you don't want to stack too many low engaged posts when people start reading, looking down your wall, if they see that you're not, in, you, you don't have anything interesting there, and they're gonna let you know it's not interesting because it's gonna have low engagement, they might bounce. They might decide to unfriend you. They might not come back to your to your timeline. So you have a couple choices. Um, one, you can just flat out delete these things. You're only getting one like, no like, five likes, whatever. An option is to delete it completely. The other option is to choose to hide a post from your timeline. Now the reasons you might want to do that is because you might have some important information here that you do want some people to read. Facebook will still push that out to other users that are in your friend, friend list, but it won't show up on your timeline. So if, if, if somebody that's not connected to you stops by and looks at your profile and they look at your timeline, they won't see those posts. So two options, delete or hide. The other pruning that you can do 
that'll really help with your building your friends list is to prune your friends. Uh, just like pruning in a garden, you're cutting off uh, something dead so that something can grow in its place. You can only have 5,000 friends, guys. There's only 5,000 spots. If you don't worry about the quality and you get to 5,000, it's not going to do you much good if they're not engaging and if they're not engaging with you specifically. So instead of waiting until you're at 5,000, maybe you have 3,000 people you don't want as friends. It's really hard to dig through all those. I do it as I go. If I find somebody that I've connected with and they're not engaging with me, they're not engaging with other people, they don't have posts every day, I just get rid of them. And that makes more room. And if you do it as you go, it's not going to be a big of task. It can be a daily thing, a weekly thing, a monthly thing. Okay. The other pruning is in your friends' requests. Facebook will put you in what they call Facebook jail. And that just means for that activity, you can't do it for a certain amount of time. It might be, it might be a day, 24 hours. It might be a week, a month, whatever. It might be permanent if, if you get caught up with enough infractions. One thing that Facebook looks at is how many friend requests you have open. These are people that haven't responded yet. What I do is every night I remove, I just delete all my friend requests. I figure if they haven't accepted it in a 24 hour period, then they're not very active and I don't want to be their friend anyway. And it makes it so that Facebook doesn't see all these open requests. If you get 20 or 30 open requests stacked up, they might shut you down. It happened to me once. I've, I've been put in Facebook jail for 24 hours. Might have been 48, I can't remember. But it was for open friend request. I didn't realize that I had like 80. So prune them. Remove them. And it's also going to keep those people that are friend requested... Uh, the chances of them coming to that friend request and saying, hey, I don't know this guy, and they report you, well, it's going gonna, it's gonna to limit that chance as well because you can have too many open friend requests or you can have too many people that say, look, I don't know this person, and Facebook will shut you down. So those are the two things I want to go over. Uh, one is formatting, and which is what I call white space. The other one is just printing. So that's it for today. Have a good one.